Hello, this is Kate from Computer Care Kelowna, and I'm going to show you today how you can back up your Windows Live Mail email and your contacts. Why? Well, even though I'm sure you're all doing a full-scale backup of all your important computer files, it's good to have a backup that's separate from that, just your email, in case you want to move your email to a new computer. It's easy to do it if you have it backed up like this rather than having to worry about restoring from a full-scale backup. Um, also, for safety's sake, it's just good to have another backup. So I'm going to show you how you can do that and put it on a flash drive or burn it to a CD or a DVD if you're still doing that. Now, Windows Live Mail is the um, Microsoft email client that has replaced the old uh, Outlook Express, which we had in Windows XP and it's also replaced Windows Mail without the live in the middle that was built into Vista. You can use uh, Windows Live Mail on Vista if you want to and you can use the scaled down version of it on Windows XP if you want to. If you're using Windows 7 you're probably using Windows Live Mail. So here's how to back it up. We need to start by uh, just creating a new folder on the desktop and naming it something informative, I'm going to call it Mail Backup or Mail BU. Um, and that's what we're going to copy all our information to. When we get done with the copying it there, we'll either burn it or, or uh, put it over onto the uh, DVD, onto the flash drive. But we're going to start by putting everything in this folder. So now I'll just open uh, Windows Live Mail and we'll start with contacts. I'll click down here for contacts. I don't have many because this isn't the program that I use. But if I did, I would still export them the same way. Click on export and choose comma separated values. Now it wants to know where we're going to put them. So we're going to put them in that folder that we just created on our desktop. And we have to name that file and uh, I'm going to call it Contacts Backup. And it's going to go to Desktop and to the Mail Backup folder. I click on Next. Now, our friends at Microsoft have made some choices about what uh, normal people need. If you might have information in your contacts that are stored in any of these other fields or you don't know, just take a moment, click all of it, if they come over empty, it's no big deal. If you had information in there, you totally want to preserve it. So click them all, say finish, and uh, wait a moment for that export. And it's pretty much done, but never hurts to check. Yeah, there they all are. Okay. So now we're going to go to Messages. Um, there's a couple of ways to do this. I think this is the smartest way. Uh, click here, go to Options, go to Mail. And now we need to find the folder in which all of this stuff is stored. So click on Advanced, then on Maintenance, then on Store Folder. And um, this little box here tells us where all this stuff is stored highlight this, all of it. Right click, select copy, and now cancel. Don't change anything, just cancel. Close everything, cancel everything. Very important. Close Windows Live Mail completely because we don't want to be messing around in the store folder when it, Windows Live Mail decides it's time to send or receive mail. Okay, so we've copied the location of the store folder. If you're using Vista or Windows 7, just go to the Start Search box, press the Control and the V key at the same time, and select Windows Live Mail from the search results. If you're using Windows Live Mail on XP, you need to first uh, select Run and then paste it in with Control V and then click on OK take you to the same place. So here's the contents of our Windows Live Mail folder. 
As you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff in there. We want to copy the whole folder. We don't want to concern ourselves with all of this stuff individually. So go up one level, click on Microsoft. You'll see that Live Mail is still highlighted. Right click Windows Live Mail, select Copy. Go back to your backup folder, right click, select Paste. And uh, if you've got a lot of mail, you're going to need to give that a minute. I don't have very much in there, and it's still going to take a minute. And there it is. It is completed. And you can see that that stuff is the same stuff that was in our Windows folder. Now, if you're going to burn this to a CD or a DVD, you can use the burn uh, choice right here or more likely you already have a program that will burn so use that program the way you normally would the folder you want to burn is right here mail backup but what we're going to do is we're going to copy this over to a little flash drive as if we were going to move this to a new computer so I've plugged in a flash drive it's called V8 um, and I've opened it up. Let's just make it so we can see everything. Now I just um, right click and drag and say copy here and this will take the folder content and its contents and copy them from my desktop right to my flash drive. And again, that's going to take just a few more seconds here. And it is still copying. There's quite a bit of stuff in there that's not just email messages, but hey, it can't hurt to have that backed up too. So just give it its uh, time. It's done copying. And now you can see that you have the contents of the mail backup folder right here on your flash drive. There it is. OK, you can now get rid of this folder. Just drag it over to your recycle bin. And you can safely remove your flash drive. And you are done. So you could take this flash drive to your new computer, plug it in and go through the import process, or you could just put it in a drawer someplace safe and have it in case of emergency. I hope that's been helpful. Don't forget to visit us at computercarecolona.com and click on the link to read the Getting Along With Your Computer column. Thanks for watching.